Hello Joshua and Polly. So tonight we have some dead MacBook Airs. The first one on our list tonight is a A1370 that does not turn on. We get no green light in the charger. Uh, you guys probably can't see that so you have to take my word. There is no light in the charger. It does not turn on. Nothing works. So let's go ahead and pull the board out and see what we find on the other side of the board. Um, just to note, we have some corrosion by the JTAG connector, um, so that is a hint that something has happened in that area. So who's to say what happened on the other side of the motherboard, so. Uh, so the T5, let's start. Let's take board and the DCM board out and let's have a look. Hmm. Might as well disconnect the battery. Always disconnect the battery before working on stuff. That is a must. You do not want to work on it without disconnecting the battery. LVDS area looks good. Our liquid damage marker is red right there, so we had liquid there. We probably have liquid on the other side of the board. And uh, let's ask. One second, I feel like I have to sneeze. <laughs> let's ask Live Chat a question. What rail do we need to get PP3? Well, I just gave it away. <laughs> I said, what rail do we need to get the green light? But I already said what rail. I already I started saying PP3, V4, 2. Hello, Brendan. These I like taking out. They only have like two or three screws in the board. Exactly. We need PP3, V4, 2. Couple more screws. Speaker connector. Uh, our webcam connector needs to come out. Time to answer Facebook questions. And we have green stuff. It doesn't look like corrosion, it's just green stuff. No idea what that is. Come on, the speaker connector is stuck. There we go. Hmm. Okay, I'll take what I can get. Let's set this right here. Let's have a look. So far so good, no liquid, no 
no liquid here, no liquid here, no liquid over here. Liquid damage indicator is red, but no sign of liquid. May you get a Christmas miracle and get a few JTAGs. It's funny you said that. No liquid, no liquid, no liquid. Let's have a closer look at this. What could this be? Looks like a little liquid on the JTAG. Is that our issue? Could be. Some liquid here. Now we're, we need to look what that does, but let's continue on. Look at the other side of the board right near the BIOS chip. Mm, a little green stuff, nothing major. SMC looks pretty good. Look at our ISL. Hmm. Looks average. Okay. Half the LVDS connector looked corroded. I did not see that. That LVDS connector looks fine. Oh, I see. Something happened right there. Let me look through my scope. No, just a little whatever, like, caked on Coca-Cola. So the first thing we're going to do... is kill the JTAG. Do I think it's our issue? Does it look bad enough to cause our issue? I don't think so, but it has no business being on our motherboard to begin with, so we will tragically end its life. in there tight. I'm going to keep this separate. don't want to get that screw wrong. And we're going to pull a JTAG. Plug in our fume extractor. We don't want to melt this connector, so we're going to kill it the slow and painful way. Eight hundred is not hot enough. Eight forty is hot enough. Okay. Rest in peace, JTAG. I think I even ripped a pad too. Good.
My tip is not big enough. <laughs> I can say that for sure. Get off my board. Die. Tear all those pads off. What did I do wrong? TWSS what Aaron? I don't know what that means. You know what? to fix something. Uh, I need to move the board. I'm sorry, but my me not inhaling this stuff is more important than you guys seeing. There we go. Aaron, do you want a timeout? We can give you a timeout. Time out, Aaron. His comments are good most of the time. Hey, we tore a trace too. Good. There's no purpose being on this board. Okay, let's see. We have any bridges. We look pretty good. Okay, now I, I see what you guys are saying. Yeah, my stupid comment. We get no green light in the charger, and we get no fan. Well, we're not going to get a green light anyway. Let's plug in the. IO connector. Do we get a green light? No green light. Hmm. Okay. What board is this? I'm going to say this is a 3209. And they hide this under sticker. Right here. A little alcohol and we will start checking our rails and see what is missing why do you have to put a sticker right over the board number come on you know that's so stupid you might think somebody would need to know that number you know, to get schematics off the dark web and fix products that you don't want to be fixed. Eight two zero thirty two oh something. Let me thirty two oh eight or thirty two oh nine. First thing is we need to get a green light. 32, 30, 30, 24. I was way off. So, where is it? Double check. So this is a 3024B. Let's open board view file for this uh, documents schematics 3024 
24, board view file. First drill to check is PP3V42. And that is going to show up. We'll flip the board over. That is going to show up right where our area is all corroded. So it's going to show up on this coil L6995. Um, it's going to show up on our PP3V42 area. This is our PP3V42 area, and it looks real nice. Do I even have that chip in? I don't think I even have that chip. But let's measure what PP3V42 is. charger and let's measure one on ground one near here and we have zero volts now let's measure on PP bus G3 hot and see if we have PP bus G3 hot surge PP bus G3 hot. And that's going to show up near the LVDS connector on F9700, so on the backlight fuse. And that's going to be right here. And we get zero volts. Now, what is going on here? Do we have AC in voltage? Is the charger not being told to turn on? What is going on here? So flip it over let's check voltage on the DC infuse on the DC in board and we have zero volts now why is this why do we have zero volts is there a short so we can only assume that our PP3V42 area has a couple capacitors that look real nasty let's check for a short on PP3V42 And we get no short on PP3V42. We get no short on PP bus G3 hot. Now, why is our charger turning off then? Let's have a look at this DC inboard. Maybe this DC inboard is bad. Or furthermore, uh, is this DC inboard close? Yeah, I think this other DC, no, wait, no, that's not even close to being close. What am I doing? Um, okay. Let's have a look at this DC inboard and let's see if we can see anything that's corroded on it. That's flux, that's not liquid. Those probe points are red, but those aren't damaged necessarily. That's just how some of those look. There's our U6900, U6901, those look good. So why is our charger not turning on? And furthermore, how can we substitute a charger and see if what happens? So let's look over here. PPDC and G3 hot. Show up on Q7080. Um, since our charger is not supplying voltage, let's put some power here and let's see what happens
But I'm gonna have another look at my board under my scope and see if I can see anything at fault. Because if I can't see an issue, then I can't show you guys the issue. are wondering why I'm putting alcohol on the board um, it's because there's dust on it and uh, I can't necessarily tell what's corroded or dust so I spray alcohol and then I could tell what's corroded and so far nothing here looks bad But we're getting no uh, PP best G3 hot, so let's take off this SSD. I mean, we're not getting the charger is not supplying power, so Yeah, and there's no real signs of damage. The only signs of damage are near the PP3V4 tube regulator. And it's not even that bad. I mean... Hmm. This capacitor looks suspicious. Are you shorted? No, you're not shorted. The other thing I've seen on these boards is the resistor mm, no, this is a little bit different yeah well if we think there's no real corrosion near the ISL let's check our current sense So the current sense could be telling the charger, no way, you, you know, shut off. Let's check our current sense. And I think that this is the right pins. It's 3.7 ohms. This is our second set. We get the right measurements. I mean the right pin number. Board, uh, rotate board. So 17 and 18 is good. Now 27 and 28. Gonna be up here. Those are perfectly fine. So. I think our next step needs to be putting a little power on PPDCN G3 hot. Um, and seeing if anything gets hot. Not if anything gets hot, but if it powers up, since the charger is being told to turn off right away. So, 
The real question is, what is, you know what, I honestly don't want to do that. Let's have a look at the schematic on this board. And I want to look at how our power supply is run for 3v4 too. So. AC adapter in is going to go through F6905. Uh, then through R7020 to the ISL. And before that, right after that fuse, it's going to go um, it's going to go up through R6905 through D6905 then that is going to go into our uh, boost chip and that will output PP3V42. So let's check F6905 and let's see, I didn't even think of that because the fuse never blows. Oh, F6905 is on the DCM board. Okay, either way, let's check it. good okay so if the fuse is good we should be getting well no we need R6905 so let's check R6905 6905 and that's gonna be the bottom side of the board right near wait a second here so here's our we have two MOSFETs I'm confused here okay I see it That resistor looks perfectly fine. But we'll check and see if it's blown. I don't think it's gonna be blown. Nope. So what handles current limiting? What is gonna tell the charger no turn off? The answer is the current sense resistors, but what do the current sensor current sense resistors go into? They go into the ISL chip. So with the charger being shut off, the ISL handles all the current limiting. I don't think I need to inject voltage because I think I know it's causing the issue. The ISL is going to be the only chip that's going to say no, shut off, and maybe that somehow got screwed up with water, it didn't corrode, I don't know. But this chip is easy to replace. Is it our issue? I am not sure, but it seems like the only educated guess we can make right now that the ISL is telling the charger, no, shut off, I don't want to deal with you. So it shuts off. Could it be U6901 and U6900 on my DCM board? Maybe, but I'd rather try a new ISL first. So let's go ahead and change this ISL out. Let's put some flux down. Rip this off the board. The board is cold, so I'm going to give it a little heat. Sometimes these chips look perfectly fine and they're still dead, so... Okay, 
Is it our issue? Maybe. I don't know, but let's try it. And we have plenty of other MacBook Airs to work on if we can't get this one going. Well, we know the liquid is completely unrelated too. Sometimes the ISLs just die. You know, the, the, the liquid damage on this, it's not really bad enough to make anything stop working. Yes, it got hit with liquid, but I don't think it's going to affect the board in a way that it'll make the board stop working. So, let's clean these pads real nice. My iron first were too hot. in these pads. I hope this works. I would really like something to just be the ISL or JTAG connector or Good. Get a new chip. Need an ISL six two five nine, which I have plenty of. This is not a chip that you can go without. You know, if you're going to be doing this, buy buy these. You will go through these. A lot. Yeah, we need to put solder on our center pad. Almost forgot. Too much flux. Good little ISL.
Okay, where were we? That's right. I have to push down the chip. Probably shouldn't turn it on uh, with those solder blocks all over the edges, so let's clean those out. Come on, beat tackle. Please work. I want an easy one. I don't want this nonsense. Please. Please, please, please have an easy one. Where did I put the I.O. connector? Here it is. Still nothing. Yeah, it's the uh, T15 J02. Okay. On to the next one for right now. picking out which one will be a good one for stream and so far all of these look like they will suck let's see here's one yeah let's work on you This is a 820-00164, 165 it looks like, I could be wrong, that has liquid damage and does not turn on, let's see, let me confirm, we get no green light in the charger, We, it does not turn on, um, Let's measure PP bus G3 hot real quick. Oh, now it turned. Now the light charger light turned on. So we get a green light. We get a light in the charger now. Where's our little backlight fuse? I want to measure backlight voltage. Oh, that's on the other side of the board. And we get 8.59 volts on PP bus G3 hot. Now, given this is an error, we have PP bus G3 hot and a green light in the charger. 
Who in chat can tell me what kills more MacBook Airs than anything? And I don't know where my slot two screw holder is, so I will get a empty screw holder and rename it to slot two. We'll just use this one for now. Okay, so LVDS connector looks really nice. Never worked on one, but is it a tantalum cap? No, it is not a tantalum cap. I'm not going to give it away just yet. Let's see if I can show you a good example on this board. I hope this board will give us something easy. I want an easy board repair. I want to fix something tonight and I want it to be an easy one. Yes, I mean other than Bree. What issue on the board kills more MacBook Airs than anything? I shall give you a hint. It's not the SMC, it's not the ISL, it's not the CPU, it's not PCH. It has to do with PM Sleep S4L, but it's not the PCH or CPU. Of course, now that I'm saying that kills more than anything, watch the area that I'm thinking of be perfectly fine on this board. So no one has this answer for me? Come on. Brendan, you know this. You know what I'm talking about. You know the what, what issue I'm talking about that kills more of these than anything. Should say it the most common board fault on MacBook Airs. Especially the third wall, really it's on all of them, thirteen and eleven inches. This one looks real nice. Just probably just such minor liquid damage again. Um, it's that's close. Clock chip is close enough. But in this case, our clock chip looks beautiful. Looks real nice, doesn't it? So, have a look right here. That looks real nice, doesn't it? But what does that do? That is BIOS I2C. You're getting closer, not quite. What board is this? This one I'm pretty sure we're going to make work. Zero zero one six five. Okay. So, something tells me that this particular chip right here is our issue, and that tells particularly tells me that that needs to be working properly for everything else to work properly. So, what that is, 
is U1950. U1950, we have, let me just turn on my display capture. U1950, we have pin pin 1 is all sys power good, pin 2 CPU VRP good R, uh, you, um, pin 3 is system power OK R, PMSO power good, SMC delayed power good, you, um, PMSO power good, and PP3V42 G3 hot. This is very important. And That does not look like it can be doing its job properly, but let's move on. Our other area of interest is over here. That looks real nice. We'll address that later, though. And our second area is this. That looks just beautiful. So what does this chip do right here? And here's our CPU buck controller, looks good, but, yeah. Well, that's where our PP3VSO sus. Okay, let's get to work. I don't want to use my brain. So, how do we not use our brain? We get an identical board. So, if I don't want to use my brain, what I do is I get an identical board, and what I do is this. No, so what I was thinking was SPI termination resistors and traces. Take solder, come on. Ugh. I don't want to run a wire. We'll scrape away where it was like oxidized and try again. I feel like I'm gonna have to run a wire there. does not want to accept solder. Oh well. So we will run a little wire. Oh. 
Where's my jumper wire? It's in here. What I'm going to do is actually scrape this big trace right here. Just to serve as a little foundation for my wire. It's perfectly fine to do, just don't dig too far into the ground plane. Then we're going to attach the wire at the capacitor that's right by there too and we should be good to go. need to run, of course, another jumper for something else, but I mean we'll have to repeal and replace some other stuff, but should be good. Come on, stay soldered. Even when that happens. Sometimes it... That looks like a good joint, yeah. That This isn't going to matter. The only th reason why I'm doing this is so it doesn't come off. I'll, I'll, I'll probably even break this off after I'm done. It's just so it doesn't come off when I'm soldering it because if I run a little wire um, right to this cap, what will end up happening is it's going to uh, fly off when I move in to heat the chip up. So. These are my old tweezers, no wonder I'm having such a fun time. Where are my new tweezers? Probably in here. Yeah, these are my new tweezers. Much better.
I think that'll solder down okay. I might want to add a little more solder to those pads. I don't know yet. I think uh, these will be alright though. Let me just touch these up just to here. There we go. And I'll show you guys my little replacement pad I made. Uh, can't really see it, but after we're done, we're going to break off uh, the rest of this wire and just leave it from the capacitor. So let's go ahead and rebuild the circuit. Get a 00165 donor board. I have one right here. This is our dead CPU board from the other day. This is this is a uh, recycled board. C customer got a new board, so we're keeping this board out of the landfill. And we're keeping this board out of the landfill by fixing other devices, and we're keeping those out of the landfill too. An hour in and I haven't even fixed anything. That's pathetic. Saving the world one component at a time, exactly. One board at a time, keeping them out of the landfill. Go back to where you go. It's supposed to be. Hey, don't, don't you run away. Okay, fine, that's close enough. Now, what I'll do is get my iron and hit this resistor, fresh solder, some more flux. And then I'll go over it again with uh, go over it again with my iron. And then we're gonna get rid of the rest of that wire. Not with my iron my hot air, what am I doing? What time is it? Seven thirty? I want to fix this fast so I can leave.
Oh, come on, really? I just lost my pad. Maybe it's soldered though, maybe just it made a connection with that pad. That would make me happy if it did. I don't want to pull that chip again and put another wire under there. spin for me are you okay whatever that was stupid I should have left it alone you know what I think that'll make contact I want to I'm just going to push it down and it should make contact. I really hope it makes contact. Did that seriously just happen? I don't know if you guys saw, you know, you guys didn't see that, but I pushed down on the chip and the chip just split in half. <laughs> Only here. Okay, I'm going to spend more time making that pad better. I can't believe that just happened. I've never had a chip split in half from pushing on it. Oh well. And you know what? I think this pad will work actually, so maybe that was a waste of running the wire. Okay. I don't want too much heat because I want to try and mend that pad up without burning all my flux away in a brief second. I think this pad will work. Yeah, it did not want to be a part of an Apple product, so it committed suicide. It, it, it lived its life on a 00165 and it said, no, I'm done with this, no more. I want to be on a Lenovo. So it died. There, that pad is saved. I think. I'm getting a new microscope. I, I, I'm soon. I, I'm gonna spend the money and get a new microscope. Or are my 20x lenses? I just want to spend the money, and you know. Yeah, this this is gonna work. There's solder on that pad, and I don't think the trace is broken. I'm gonna check. No, trace is good. Okay, now let's get another 00 or 3437 donor.
stolen? No, you're still here. I need to order that chip. This same chip is used on so many areas of the mag uh, boards, um, just a logic gate. doesn't look that bad it, it look, it's a lot it's not as bad as it looks but Last area, give it a little reflow. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. That does not look that bad. liquid but is that liquid gonna matter? Probably not. Moment of truth. That looks to me like a spinning fan. That is a hot CPU heatsink. So that looks to me like we are done. Okay, this gets ultrasonic and this one is repaired. So I think that's it for tonight. So thank you for watching. And I hope and this is this is bad. My mat is real bad right here. But Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Where's my OBS window? Oh, it's right here.